AI is changing the way we design. And to stay relevant, we need to adapt to the new technology. Here are 10 design tools that are like having an AI-powered creative companion. Hello, friend. I've tried over 100 design tools, and these are the ones that you should use. First up is NVIDIA Canvas. And if you are tired of the frustrating gap between your imaginative landscapes and the reality of paper, well, NVIDIA's innovative new app has your back. Imagine your squiggles becoming clouds and blobs transforming into solid rocks. It's like wielding a digital wand that turns dreams into reality. This is great for generating your own stock images, backgrounds, textures, and whatever you need in your design projects. Next up is OpenArt, which is a fantastic tool for manipulating the images that you want to use in your design work. So let's say that you have a specific image of a room, but you want to regenerate it in a few different styles. Well, with OpenArt, that is entirely possible. It's an AI art generator that's specifically geared for design situations. For example, you can take an image, an open source image from a library such as Unsplash. I'll be using one of my own photos from Unsplash, which is this June scape that I took in Brazil. I will come back into open art. I will upload my image. Now you can optionally add an extra little prompt here. This is great for manipulating images. You can add and adjust how creative you want it to be. Yeah, the more creative, the more different your output image will be. So if you've got a stock image that you want to be using or you're looking to slightly manipulate a design piece, you can use this tool to easily edit uh, via text prompts the different details, the different areas. And it's particularly good at working with photos. So here you can see that it's given us a little adaption to what we had before. It's kept the tones, it's kept the nuances. It's great if you want to create a set of coherent brand images that are going to maintain the same theme, the same feel, but have variation in between them. And I'll show you how it works with a photo of a human. I use this one of this guy that I met deep in Tibet when I was pilgrimaging through the Himalayas many years ago. So you pop him in. Now, I will show you what it's like with you when you don't use a prompt. So now we have a completely different reinterpretation of My Fine Gentleman. If you want to edit it, you can click on Edit and you can erase parts of the image. Maybe you want to change his face and you can go ahead and adjust those parts. So this is simply an effect to in-paint within the image. So you can add in a new expression. For example, I'm going to put in Sad Man. Finally, you can go to Generate and you'll get yourself a brand new image. Ta-da! And now we've changed the expression on his face. So this is great if you're working, say, with some sort of narrative and you want to adjust the facial expressions, the reactions of your characters. Another tool they have on open art is you can easily create these mesmerizing QR codes because QR codes are probably one of the most hideous <laughs> design elements that possibly exist and now they've been transformed with the power of AI. So it's a great way to quickly and easily create organic and beautiful QR codes that fit much better into designs. I, mean, I personally have a pet peeve that on many design elements you can see like a beautiful piece of graphic design and then there's a QR code that completely does not sit with the ethic, the philosophy, the coherence of a brand. And now we have the opportunity to do something much more creative. So you can see there's a lot of wonderful options. This transformer style guy, you can have a little pussycat meow, or a more abstract pastel colored dreamscape. So I'll show you how this works. All we have to do is enter the URL. It's as simple as that. So I can simply put in a URL to my YouTube channel, for example, my YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, and if you're new here, I'm Samson Voles. This is Delightful Design, and on this channel we talk about AI, design, entrepreneurship, and ways to make your life more fulfilling. So I pop in my URL, click on Create. You can either go with Random or pick your own style. And it's as simple as that. You get your own outputs. I really like this Picasso one. So I do love that you can also generate multiple versions simultaneously. So you don't have to wait for one to finish. You can go all the way in. You can get those rolling down. And here are some of my beautiful mesmerizing QR codes. And in terms of pricing for open art, it is only $8 a month for 5,000 credits. And you get up to eight at parallel generations, 20 plus public models, and access to all the AI tools, including sketch to image, creative variations, stock image transformer, custom people's stock images, and a magic brush. It's a very good value art generator, and it's one that's geared specifically towards designers. Next up is Canva, our old dear friend who disrupted the design landscape. So you can consider Canva as your friendly escape from Adobe, allowing you to easily pick up a powerful design tool 
without all of the levers, buttons, and modes of, say, Photoshop. One of the AI-powered Canva tools is the ability to create templates aligned with your vision. You can simply choose an image and insert a prompt, and it will give you a graphic design layout straight away. You can imagine it as an AI prompting tool for design. It's great for speeding up the design process to get a first draft out there, because as humans, it's much easier to iterate and edit a design than it is to start from the dreaded, scary, blank page. So use magic design to get the ball rolling. And this is particularly good if you need to create something very quickly. Next up is Let's Enhance for when you stumble upon a low res image that holds promise but lacks the high quality imagery that you need. So perhaps you have found an image on Google but you can only find a very low resolution of it. Well, with Let's Enhance, you can easily boost the resolution with AI. It's also particularly good if you're working in other AI generators and you need to enhance the size of your images. With Midjourney, there is a limitation to the size of images you get out. And if you're working in 4K or you want to print this out, it's a huge restriction and a difficult workaround. But with Let's Enhance, you can easily take your images from this to this. Next up is chroma, and color, as we all know, is more than just a hue on the canvas. It's the heartbeat of your creation, the emotion behind the artistry. And that's where chroma steps in. Ready to be your color guru. So you input the colors that you like, and it will start generating multiple coherent color palettes based on your choices. Next up is Franti. Let's say that you have a design, and with a few clicks, that design transforms into code. Yes, an actual real-life website. It outputs bespoke HTML, CSS, and React code, and caters to both the design aficionados and the coders. So if you're a designer looking to create your website, or if you're a coder looking to breathe life into a design, this is a tool that's going to speed up your web design process. I also recommend taking a look at 10 Web AI, which is an AI website builder that allows you to input prompts and it will output a first draft of a website. Not only does it design the website, but it also fills it out with content. So you tell it what type of website you're making. Perhaps it's a travel website, perhaps it's a blog about fishing rods, and it will generate images and text and populate your website in seconds, which is great for getting a first draft off. Next up is Wizard, which is spelled UI Zard, and you might have guessed it's to do with designing UIs. And what I love about this tool is that you can simply sketch out a wireframe of an app or website and it will translate it into a fully working app. So this is great for taking your ideas and creating prototypes. If you're looking to develop an MVP to pitch to a client, this speeds up the process and gives you the opportunity to create working prototypes in seconds. Next up is designs.ai, and it isn't just another toolbox. Designs.ai has a huge library that helps you design everything from social media graphics to logos, and it's a toolkit that you can leverage to speed up the design process. So if you want to mock up a professional logo in seconds using AI, this is a great go-to tool. Next up, we have Adobe Sensei. Ah, oh, Sensei, I saw too. We all know the pain of searching for the ideal stock image. I used to work as a designer for a bank in the UK, and a lot of my work actually involved searching through endless hours of thousands and thousands of stock images, trying to find the right ones to represent a brand, a business, a product effectively. For example, one of the projects I used to work on was creating this website for the Barclays London Accelerator and selecting images, for example, like for making data count with AI. That's such a hard topic to visualize without going into cliche imagery. But this is where Adobe Sensei comes in. And with its AI prowess, it scours the depths of the digital universe, curating stock photos that align seamlessly with your vision. Another AI tool coming out of Adobe is the ability to overlay designs to text. And this is a very creative way to create new typographic styles and essentially take your fonts, your type work, and really integrate it effectively with your brand design. And it works exceedingly well. Just take a look at a few of these examples where you can take the outline of your text and add different textures, different elements, different fields, different materials. And next up is the AI tool to rule them all. Of course, it is ChatGPT. But 
ChatGPT, as a design companion, I hear you say, well, there are a number of ways that you can leverage the power of ChatGPT to be your design companion. Number one is you can instruct it to be a designer. You can say, I want you to act as an experienced graphic designer, incorporating the strengths and the talents of Paul Rand and Dieter Rams, and the design aesthetic of Steve Jobs, and help me come up with ideas for this design. For example, I am trying to design the brand for a clothing company aimed at 28 year olds who like broccoli. And from that, you start to get some advice, some ideas, and this is an invaluable space to use. If you are working alone and you don't have a design team in person with you, you can really talk through your thinking, the process with this design assistant. And it helps so much to externalize the thinking process to really go through the options and the possibilities of where you can take your design project. I also have this video on creating an entire brand with AI, which goes through a more detailed process of creating a full brand using ChatGPT and Midjourney, which leads me on to our next tool, which is of course the beautiful Midjourney which is a excellent tool for developing logos, vectors, backgrounds, and even web design assets. And I particularly like generating textures inside of Midjourney, background textures to use in your designs. What are your favorite AI design tools? Please let me know if there are any I've missed in the comments below. I would love to check out more tools.